Champions League it that much worse that it's going to start making people sick. Now, if you guys weren't to do anything over an extended period of time, it's obviously only going to get worse and worse. And so there would be a threshold of that it would, you know, start to cause an hey, issue. Hey, so. Nick, Nick, this is Melissa's husband, also an occupant of the house. Did you yeah. did you ask either of us how we were feeling? I did not. Okay. Did you ask either of us how many hours a day we spend in the house? I did not. What are your qualifications to opine whether or not we would be okay to stay in the house? Do you have a background in uh, respiratory illness or the impact of contaminants on human beings? Any special training in that regard? I do not. I was. I apologize. I was just. Okay. Going. Well, and did you read the report? The report that was sent from San Air to ASP from Glenn Robinson on August 10th. Did you read that report? I I haven't read every word of the report, but I've skimmed through it. Wow. And you're advising Anthony based on you skimming through the report? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, advising Anthony what? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I, I didn't advise Anthony anything. I provided Anthony the report, and then I told them they need to let me know how they want us to proceed with, with either reconstruction or mold remediation. I did not advise them on anything. I'm not, oh. I am definitely not qualified to do that. Oh. I understand that. Okay. I did not advise them. And let me ask this. There were only three rooms tested, and the highest mold count was in the furnace room, which distributes air to the entire rest of the home, the decision to only test those three rooms, whose decision was that? Was that you or Anthony or Glenn Robinson's? That was a joint decision. It's, it's, that's, the, you, that's kind of the baseline, I guess, is what you would call it. But Was there any discussion my, about the need to test the rest of the house or do surface swipe testing? So in my opinion, Again, I'm not I'm not an expert in this. In my opinion, if it was my own residence, would I want further testing done throughout the rest of the house? You bet. Absolutely. But again, that for, for the safety an, for the safety of the occupants, right? For the long term safety, 100 uh, percent. I agree. 100 uh, percent. So, again, those initial tests, we were testing the areas that we could either visibly see or were next to that to start the process. But again, now that there's been the test, there's been elevated results. Should there be further testing? I, yes, I, I, in my opinion, I believe so. But the next step that, uh, that you guys have is to do an estimate on remediation of those three rooms, correct? That's currently where we're at in the process. Correct. Again, it's 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 Anthony's was brought us in to we we handle the reconstruction for Anthony's. On this one, there was a there was a separate issue, the mold issue, and so seeing that, I spoke with our mitigation team that handles all that stuff. They advised me before we ever do anything, we we need to do some pre testing to see what's what's going on and so that's that's what we did and so now knowing that there is it's not just that hvac closet that's affected that that t-shirt room there's an issue there there's an issue down in the basement with that being said before any re reconstruction happens obviously there needs to be some remediation in some form or fashion okay and so th so you've discussed with uh, with Tim at Anthony remediation through the whole house, not just those three rooms. And you've supplied him with an estimate of that. So we've, we've supplied an estimate to clean those three rooms. If, if, if Anthony's or you guys or whomever wants us to do further testing and further estimating, we can absolutely do that until this point. It's only, we've been only given the authority to do those three rooms. So you're saying that that's completely up to Anthony on, on what to remediate and what to test? 
Well, we, we were brought, Phoenix was brought in by Anthony's. And so, yes, they, they've given us the approval to focus on those three rooms. But again, if either A, Anthony's, Tim West, gives us further approval to do more, we absolutely can do more. Okay. And or the, you guys being the homeowners, if you guys give us the approval, then we can absolutely do that as well. Okay. And did you communicate to Tim email or report or whatever that it's your recommendation that further testing and remediation be done to the rest of the house? I have not. If it's an axioms report, then that would. But again, that's I, I, I have not read every word of that report. So Okay, and the scope, you, you gave the assignment to Axiom, correct? Uh, for the air testing, that is correct. And you set the parameters of this is precisely what we want you to test and what we're willing to pay for. Don't go beyond that, right? That, that is what Anthony's was willing to pay for, was those rooms. Okay. So, again, the Anthony's, since we were brought in by them, they, they're the ones that are... At this point, they're the ones giving the approvals. Okay, so if Anthony is hiring you to be the expert on this, uh, then if you don't recommend that further testing or further rooms need to be done, how is Anthony supposed to know that that needs to happen? Again, I, I bring in Axiom. They're the experts in this. So that's what I'm leaning on. But if you told Axiom this is the scope of the project and limit it to that, then at what point? It's it's limited to that because that's what Anthony's has, has approved us to do. If someone gives us the approval to do more, we will absolutely do more. Okay, uh, and then what Tim told me was that you told him that the mold count, which was uh, close to 8,000, in the in the two second floor rooms um that there's no way that this leak caused that mold count that's old mold did you tell that to tim so that there's there's a certain type of mold and again this is off of discussions i've had with axiom and our in-house mold guys there's the 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 chadium or whatnot, that is what they call, um, it, it takes time for that sort of stuff to start to grow and uh, multiply. Okay, and, and so what, what, on, what, what rooms was that chadium found in? Because the I, way I, I'm reading the report, it was only on the bottom floor. I, 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 don't, I don't recall. I have to pull the report to look. Okay. And I can do that. I, I have some time this afternoon. I can read back through the report, and then if you guys would like, I could call you back. But just off the top of my head, I, I do not recall. Nick, I think my question is, why, why is the name of that mold coming up and not the one that's that counts in the 8,000, uh, close to 8,000? I'm sorry. The, the I mold... The mold that the numbers are coming up close to 8,000 in two rooms is not the mold that you just mentioned. The, the aspergillus uh, penicillin was the highest mold counts in the second floor two rooms. Those are very fast growing molds. And, and so, well, I guess background question, do you have any expertise to be able to render an opinion on... I I, I am not I am not a mold expert. This is why I bring Axiom in. I I, I, I am not a mold expert. I'm so, not. So it's your statement that Axiom told you, that Glenn Robinson told you that this is old growth mold. This can't be from this leak. And did Axiom tell you that? That's the 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 Chadium, that is what they had said. That is the longer term. It takes time for that stuff to grow. Did Glenn Robinson or anyone from Axiom tell you that this mold couldn't be from this leak? They just told me that there was a long-term issue, not a short-term issue. And they said that about the Aspergillus penicillin? That's, that 
those that's the one that has the super high counts? No, that was not what we had discussed. It was the, I believe, the Chadium, but again, I need to refresh my memory on the report. And, and, and okay, so that in mind, were you also aware that Anthony had been out multiple times for multiple events? This particular leak started 627 and it was not dried until 7 7. Yeah, so all, all I was told, the only information I had ever before I stepped foot on your property is that there was a that caused some damage in one little HVAC closet. That's all the information I had. And you got that so, information from Tim? From Tim, yes. Okay. All right. So I'm telling you, if this changes what you need to put in a report to Tim, that the leak happened, started happening 627. That leak continued unabated until at least six days. And that's two air conditioner units fully condensed at a time period when temperatures ranged up into the mid nineties and humidity levels ranged from 60% to hundred percent outside. So buckets and buckets and buckets of water. And uh, the leak was stopped by an Anthony tech on July 1st, late in the day. And blowers didn't arrive until 7-3. So every drop of that water is still in that area, in the utility room and outside the utility room. Gotcha. And, and the blowers were there until 7-7 when it was dried. And so what's left is whatever mold growth was there, plus the spores or whatever dried out um, from that point forward. So does that change your assessment or the fact pattern you gave to people who were qualified to give you an opinion on this? It, it, it could. Okay. If, could, could, could you guys do me a favor? Text that info, those dates. If you'll text those to me, I've got, I would like to sit down with our mold guys, then probably call Axiom again. I want their opinion. Again, I'm not, I'm not a mold expert. I lean on other people's expertise. So if you could text that to me, uh, so I no, I'm, 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 with them. I'm not going to do that. I just told you what the information is. I don't need to text it to you. Well, I'm, if, I'm driving down the road, so I can't remember this stuff. So I'm trying to help you, but <laughs> why, why don't you ask Tim for a complete analysis of what leaks happened when, but I promise you any leak that has happened since 2016 has been the responsibility of Anthony. I'll get a hold of Tim. I'll have him send over additional information. Perfect. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you.